Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial where I'll show you how to make a bike kits carrier that is affordable and uses minimal tools to create. On the description of this video, I'll have exactly what I ended up using, but feel free to use whatever you think is best. For the dowels, or what I would consider the rails of this carrier, you can use a spade bit that's an inch and a quarter and you only have to drill a quarter in depth. On this build, I went ahead and added a triangular gap in the middle to reduce the weight and lower the center of gravity and also for aesthetics. You can just split the dowel in half so you can have your two rails. Once you have cut all your pieces, you can sand and do a quick test fit. It is highly recommended that you pre-drill the dowels before adding the hardware. You can then do another test fitting and ensure the brackets are well aligned before you start drilling on the actual skateboard. For this type of bike and skateboard combination, it was as easy as just loosening up the wheels and slide them in the rack that currently exists and I just ended up retightening them and it held perfectly. I did another test fitting to ensure strength and durability right before doing some final sanding and official staining of the carrier itself. For the side foot panels, this is actually a bonus. The bags that came with the bike had a plastic cover inside and all I did was remove it and use it to fit accordingly. For the foot pegs, I ended up using some spare shelf hanging brackets that I had from another project. I really like these because they're really long and I could actually have the kids uh, each share the foot pegs. When assembling the dowels or the handrails, it is recommended to use wood glue as well for durability. Adding a seatbelt is completely optional and I went ahead and added one just because I had a spare stroller that was going to end up in a trash and I also ride a lot with my three-year-old. When designing this carrier, the original intent was for the kids to be able to sit in multiple configurations but they really enjoy the wagon type and I think we're going to keep going with that. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe as I will be posting more fun and productive DIYs in the future.